Hey yo, it's the good, it's your boy Super Kev, welcome to another episode of Super Kev Livecast Season 4, we on YouTube baby. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show on the internet. If it's not your job, so let me know, got it. So I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their work. The same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. And not them Yankee fans, because you already know the Yankees suck. But on a more serious note, y'all do know I'm from Boston. Shout out to everybody around the world, including my New York super supporters. We are going quick, er, quick, er ish for reddit and it's not financial advice however this is probably one of my favorite episodes so you definitely want to stick it through till the end now disclaimer i do not own any real estate so this is really entertainment purposes only i'm putting you on to what i plan to do okay so i just wanted to make that very clear as i reiterate the yankees suck you know what i'm saying even though they came to fenway and took that game last night, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't going to acknowledge that. Yeah. Now, remember, once you get to income three, it becomes passive. And here we are on income number five. And income five is rental income. So now, if you're a sports fan, which is what the, these seven episodes are about, if you're a sports fan, you start to ask yourself, hmm, how can I get rental property, which if you've been paying attention, we basically are talking about real estate. So how can you get real estate within the sports world? And the answer is season tickets. So think about it. You know the Yankees suck, and you want to go to Fenway Park to go see the Red Sox destroy the Yankees. If you are a season ticket holder and you have access to Red Sox Yankee tickets, However much you spend on them, there's a fair chance, not always, but there's a fair chance that both teams will be good, competitive, spending a lot of money, you know what I'm saying, winning, even though they won more than us overall, we've definitely been winning more since 2004, so who's yo pappy and daddy anyways? You know that game is going to be competitive. So now you can be a fan with your season tickets, you know what I'm saying, bring your family, bring your little significant other, or bring your babies, whatever. Or you could flip that, allegedly. So if you are a season ticket holder, it's essentially owning a piece of the stadium, right? And that's your little piece of real estate. And you can either show up and enjoy or you get that off. Now, talk to me in the comments if you want me to elaborate. but. You already know, this is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I'm just putting y'all on to what I anticipate doing. I told y'all I'm going to start um, betting on sports, and I'm going to start buying season tickets. All right? I'm just doing it in a way that makes financial sense, the same way I'm talking to y'all, the same way I'm applying. And for the second half of this episode, let's go through whatever things I need to get done for my future income fives, and let's get out the way. So, first off is income five days. So, Holler out all the people who have any type of rentals. Remember, you can rent out your house, tools, your car, whatever. But today we're talking about um, season tickets. All right. Check the income five documents and ideas. I don't have any documents because I don't own any real estate yet. I do have real estate stocks. Uh, well, you know, watch a prior episode to hear me talk about those. Um, and that's why the next thing says unspent money. Unspent food money invested into um, Cash App account. So, again, watch a prior episode. That's kind of different than what we're talking about here. So I don't want, really want to blend the two. Shout out to my Reddit crew because we're doing this for Reddit. Um, document receipts. I don't have any receipts. That's why there's no check mark there. But Friday monthly stock investments, I drop that once a month. And because this is the, I believe, the first Friday episode of July, I'm a few days late, so I apologize. I did do that. That is on my Instagram. Feel free to go find that if you are interested. And some of you from Reddit are watching me for the first time. And guess what? All 2022, I'm investing in the same 12 real estate stocks. I got prior episodes talking about that. Comment below if you want me to elaborate on them. But I'm going to keep it pushing so that my day one super porters ain't quite getting bored. You know what I'm saying? But if you ask me, I want to talk right now. 
Okay. The 12 stocks are Apple, Google, Microsoft, Airbnb, Amazon, Disney, Sony, NVIDIA, Unity Software, Nike, Roblox, and Meta. Okay. And um, I did that and posted it on the gram for the people who are following on that side of the investments. Income 5 links will be in the comment section below. And just like I did before, we're going to wait a minute to see if anybody has any questions. If not, you know what I'm saying? And in the meantime, I bet you every Yankee fan out there right now is saying, how do we suck? And we just came to Boston and won. It's because you only won one game. And it's a four-game series. So when we finish the series three to one, I don't want any nothing from y'all. Alright. Now, if you enjoy the sports talk, I anticipate bringing my um, sports show over to Reddit. Alright. So again, let me know in the comments if y'all like sports on my Reddit page. I try to take my social media platforms and differentiate them. I do music on Instagram. I just be acting a clown on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is for all the episodes of the Super Kev Livecast, trying to build the content creation. Twitch is for my gaming. So I try to split up the things I love into different social media platforms so that whatever y'all want, y'all get. But y'all talk to me in the comments and let me know if you appreciate the content. And I got to go to work soon. So on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm alive, there will be alive. You already know what it is. I love y'all. Peace. Mo. Cool.